Welcome to the channel. Let's continue drawing this portrait. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, okay. The audio is okay. Okay, let's continue drawing. I have this pit pastel white. And I have this uh, soft pastel, charcoal, I have charcoal, I have pastel, uh, synthetic brush, really soft for blending, and a needed eraser. Okay, let's continue adding white here. I have more control with uh, pencils, but I mean I have more white, the white is more vibrant with, or really soft pastel, like this one, you see, so easy to get this white. See, I'm gonna use today this. Uh, this is Faber Castell soft pastels. <clears throat> oh, hello Michael, hello Nikki. Ah, uh, this is life, Nikki. Hello Monique. Thank you. 
have to move my camera the settings. Give me a second. I was mo moving the set, uh, the configuration of my, uh, my 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 camera, and this way it's gonna stay focused. I hope so. Hello Miri, we are the three M's in Nick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Do you think, since you are here, Mary, Monique, do you think that would be a better idea to change Sunday class to Saturday? Because to be honest, I made a mistake. I didn't realize that that was Mother Mother's Day. And you know, here in my country, here in Peru, we basically we're not doing anything because Sunday we are in a lockdown nobody can move nobody can go out and because of that I forget that Sunday was my bad I mean Sunday was mother day Yes, I mean, that's so terrible. I am a so bad husband and a so horrible son.
But that's okay, my mom and my wife, they don't care. They just want me to provide, <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> and I was thinking that, uh, because I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're Monique and Mary and Patty and, and most, basically all of you, pretty sure you're gonna have prop, uh, plans, yes, plans for Sunday. I don't know. Uh, I was just thinking that today I, I, I will uh, post this in the group, the Facebook group. And let's see some opinions. Let's hear some opinions. I mean, for me, that's okay, Sunday. I'm gonna be just here. And if, uh, that's, I mean, here doesn't gonna be a normal day, like an, any day. on the hair. I need to work on the face. Okay, let's see, I need to make this darker, darker and darker. Oh, Monique, you can move to Saturday. Yeah, if it's Saturday, that would be like uh, after the Saturday $4 tier. That's from 10 to 11. And uh, usually I spend like from 10 to 11.30. We can start at 11.30 and uh, to 3, 4 p.m. But let's see, Monique, please, what, uh, I mean, I don't know. I know that it's too, oh, I mean, it's too fast maybe to make a change. Maybe some people just have changed, have planned, uh, had plans. But let's see, I think, I think that everybody is going to agree to move the class to Saturday. I think. For example, uh, Joyce, she told me that she's not going to be on the class on uh, Sunday.
just make it this darker. Uh, Nikki, Nikki is telling me you should do the cooking on Sunday. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I just, uh, I was learning to cook. I was learning to cook and I was doing okay. But that's not my thing. I mean, I got just, uh, it's too much work. Too much work. I mean, we, I mean, it's too much pre preparation, the ingredients, and all of that. 
and I was cooking okay, I was doing okay. And then, then I found out a channel, a channel from Spain. And this guy used to cook with a lot of cheese. And I said, oh my God, this is amazing. And I started to cook with uh, following the recipes and the YouTube channel. And I remember <laughs> my kids, they, they were like, oh my God, this is so delicious. An hour, an hour after uh, eating, they were, oh my God, my stomach, my stomach is hurts. And I said, what? I mean, it was too much. I was adding just too much cheese. And, and they told me, okay, that's enough, dad. Okay. Don't cook anymore. And I said, wow, that's what I wanted to hear. The only time that I, I got luck, lucky cooking what once that I was in Miami, I remember we were living in a house like six people, all of us from Peru, and they were like uh, we were like sharing days to clean up the house to cook, and uh, the day that it was my turn to cook, I was oh my god, what am I gonna do? I mean, I remember I. Uh, uh, we were drinking some beers the last day, day before, and I woke up with a hangover. I was so bad. I took a lot of chicken. I throw the chicken into the how do you call it? How do you call it? A pot? Yeah, well, I mean this, this thing to to cook. And I I throw a, a bottle of wine. I mean, like the whole bottle of wine. Uh, potatoes, a lot of things. And I turn on the the the, the uh, oh my God my vocabulary with uh, cooking names is not so good. At the end, I just leave it there. I remember after like a forty minutes, I went to check out. It was kind of okay, uh, yes, and it was just like. Uh, uh, oh no! The, the thing is that after uh, when we were when we were to we were about to meet to eat. I mean, the point. I mean, at the end, the 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 the, the meal was just delicious. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know how. I think the wine make the trick. I remember uh, my friends. Uh, they were uh, one of my friends. He was who who who, who cook, and they were ready, so No way! You did it, yes. Oh my God! This is so good. And they they make me cook again the next day, I think, and it was awful. The f I mean the food was so bad, and they were oh my God! I mean you got lucky that day. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't cook anymore. Yeah, that's for me. That's perfect for me.
あ<笑>えー、で映画のバイソン・ピクさん「Definitely yes」Because there is a place so close to my wife's house, and they, they make a really amazing pizza. Well, I'm not gonna do so much, too much in just pizza, and I'm gonna throw my kids on, <laughs> on my wife's house. That's gonna be the gift. Spend the weekend with your kids. I just want to take a rest. Yeah, I love my kids, but uh, a week uh, alone that would be really good. Oh, Mir is asking me about Wednesday night. Yes, we're gonna. I mean, Wednesday we're gonna paint uh, on top of the score. We painted the score this Wednesday. Next one, we're gonna paint the skin on top of the score. And then, and then I think we're gonna do what you're suggesting. Yes, facial cannons for infant children and old folks. Yes, we're gonna do that. That's perfect, thank you. Thank you for giving me some ideas.
Monique is, uh, was was it like a stir stir fry? I don't know what is a stir fry. Is the chicken dish? No, it was uh I mean, it was chicken with a lot of cheese with rice, a lot of cheese and milk. It was so delicious. It was amazing. I think it's okay. a little bit of light here making this edge really soft okay I think it's okay right at the same time maybe I have to move this a little bit up I remember once a teacher told me something like this in this kind of situation when you have a light like this a light like this it could be a, it could be a good idea follow this 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 and this and put the, a light here it was kind of following some rhythm But at the end it's up to us, okay? Because, I mean, uh, kind of like it, but uh, this is not gonna make uh, the drawing better if there is something wrong here, but anyway, it adds, this adds something, okay?
Uh, when I was a student, I remember we used to... Uh, in the School of Art at that time, there were a lot of teachers. I mean, some teachers just teach painting, the others teach drawing. Uh, when I was a teacher, I used to teach uh, painting and drawing. But my time as a student, it was just about one thing. You teach painting or you teach just drawing. And I gotta say that maybe uh, the teacher, the drawing teacher, teachers that I had, they were more enthusiastic about making you, about even being there in the class. Mostly all of them, they were there just around you, see you, see you drawing and all of that and um, uh, the painter's teacher that they I mean in, uh, they were different I remember uh, sometimes you I mean sometimes you don't see that you didn't see the teacher for like a, a, a couple of weeks it's like you you see uh, him just putting uh, the model in, in a certain position and that's it. And after a week or two weeks, eh, the teacher was there just correcting the drawings, the paintings, the paintings, sorry. I think everybody has a different technique to teach. And some teachers just consider that they have to leave the student alone. Uh, and some teachers just consider that they have to be there, like all the time. But I always remember one teacher in, in drawing that was, uh, I specifically remember always the human drawing uh, because they used to, they put a model and they used to make us, make us, make, uh, make us draw the full body in just five minutes. It was so exhausting, but it was really good. I mean, it was like, a, he put a clock uh, just five minutes and then after five minutes he changed the pose another five minutes uh, it was for 45 minutes and then we rest 15 minutes and then then the next hour again five minutes five minutes five minutes it was a full it was a full drawing A full body, a full body drawing, yeah? but it was a sketch, really fast. For three hours. It was uh, like, a, he used to do that like once a month. Those kind of exercises. And then the rest of the days it was like, a, just draw, normal speed. I spent on a drawing like a week. We used to draw the human figure uh, in a week, daily for three hours. And it was for one year for drawing portraits, one year for drawing human figure, one year to draw still lives, and the last year it was just for be creative, draw whatever, draw whatever you want. But to be honest, after 
drawing like academic classical style for four years, three years. The last year we were kind of lost. Uh, I mean, we. It's like they were just just lost. I was lost. I mean, they a teacher remember do draw whatever you want, draw any creative. I mean, I was like, oh wow, that's kind of new for me. I was just so just to copy, and and now I have to think. Uh, that was a new kind of a new instruction. Yes, to be creative. Uh, the idea is to, uh, I mean, to find to find the balance. Yes. Nowadays in the school of art here, they are just more creative. They are very creative, eh? but they have kind of lost uh, that the ability to draw better because they are more thinking about being creative than than practicing copy something or practicing proportions and all of that. Remember I told you this, uh, the School of Art here it was founded, I mean the first principal, it was a guy that he had studied in Europe for years and he came back here to Peru, he was the first director and he kind of established the St. Maron of a U European School of Arts. Yes, uh, I was so lucky to, to, to have that, yes. I think, I don't know. I don't understand this. I think that's her ear, but it looks kind of... looks kind of weird, this shape here. It's just like that, like an S. I'm gonna make it just this, like this, a little bit like an insinuation, just that. No, now, now that I, 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 when I see a lot of videos in YouTube about people that have been studied in Europe, and I remember when I was a student, we were as students, we always, uh, we were thinking about, oh, how it's gonna be to study in Europe in one of those schools of arts, or in North America, that would be amazing. It's like we are, we living in a third. World, world country, uh, but now that I, uh, I see those guys, like uh, I kind of feel proud of my school of art because we kind of have the same without knowing it, knowing that. Uh, it was a, it was because of this guy, yes. His name is Daniel Daniel Hernandez. That was the, the first principal in the School of Arts. He lived, he lived in Europe, I think, kind of his whole life. He studied art in Europe.
Now read the comments. The chick on her right side is so beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Mickey, she's aging, looks older, more mature. Oh my god! That means that I gotta stop now. <laughs> That's my problem. Okay, 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 okay. I gotta stop and I gotta think. Mm. Okay, I gotta soft soon. Uh, like this, for example. Soft some areas to make her younger again. I'm gonna add a little bit of I'm gonna use graphite just to make everything soft. Yeah. Yes, yes, it sound yes, yes, it was a it was a good school of art. And then after some years they kind of started to change that and I remember uh, I met some students like recent students like a, what like maybe two years ago three years ago and they were like oh we just draw they were telling me that they just draw like twice a week uh, just two hours each class that means just four hours a week I mean that's a huge difference for me. It was three, four, fifteen hours a week of drawing, and for them it's just four hours a week. And painting it was just the same, like uh, twice a week, like just a couple of hours each cl each class. I don't know why, why they changed that too much. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's, it's gonna change again because this year, that's in the history of the School of Arts uh, that we have uh, the, the first woman principal. The first in history. And I know her pre 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 pretty good, and she's kind of uh, 
the my generation, yes, I think she was one year before me. And I know for sure that she loves that classical approach. And I'm pretty sure that she's gonna try to uh, bring it back. I don't know if that, that's possible, but I mean, she has like five years now to change everything back to where it was. And but I'm not so sure. I mean, if that's if that's possible, but let's see what happened. I mean, that happened because, of course, they want to put the student to make mo modern art, art okay. installations, all of that. But what what they not think they don't think of that we don't have a market for that here in Peru. We're a small country. I mean, the people that buys our art is not that big. Not like a, I don't know, it's just few people that buy art. And you're teaching, and uh, they are teaching, they were teaching to make modern art installations, all of that. And I'm just thinking, what, what, I mean, what is the end of that? I mean, that would be okay for another country, but they don't see the reality here. Younger again? Oh my god, I think kind of. Uh, I think I lose. Uh, I'm losing something on, on her. I don't know what. The nose, I think the nose is, no, is not okay. Mm, it could be the nose. I'm making this shadow 
uh, soft the edge I want the edge soft I know that it's sharp, sharp but I don't want that like I said that yesterday that brings too much too much attention to the to this shadow I just want this to be darker here and to be not that dark here and at the same time kind of soft okay now one thing to think is if I go I gotta go darker here and here and here the nose I think is the shadow is just too dark mm. I gotta think about this I think maybe I should move the shadow a little bit down. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay, the, the thing I see that my drawing is tilted different from the image. Maybe I should move the camera. better no that means the opposite like this Okay, I think my mistake is in the nose. Hmm. There's something is not okay in the nose. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm going to soft this shadow a little bit. difficult to see what is wrong. I know something is wrong. I try to pay attention always the measurements of I mean the structure, the measure from the distance from the eye to the nose to the to the chin. And if that's is that it is okay, I mean the problems are gonna be always like um, uh for example, the nose, the nose maybe should be bigger, should be smaller. 
Yes. I mean, I try to get the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. I mean, as close as possible to the right position. Now, the problem is always making them bigger or smaller. I mean, if the problem is about the position of the eyes and nose and the mouth, I mean, that's not, I can, uh, uh, there's nothing I can do. In that case, that would be like a start over again. Because uh, that happened to me when I make a, a, a mistake that, that big, like, a, like the distance from the eyes to the nose is so different from the distance from the nose to the chin. That means move the nose, let's say, a little bit up. If I move the nose up, that moves the distance, that change the distance. That, me that means that I have to move the mouth. And uh, that happens sometimes. Sometimes it's just like we're starting, making, starting to make a mess. Like it's, everything is starting to move around. And for me, when that happened to me, it was just like a beginning again. The, the only thing I remember that uh, my solution when something like that happens is just keep the eyes in the position and erase everything else. The nose and the mouth. I start working again, measuring this. Okay, and measuring from the corner of one eye to the corner of the other eye and moving the measure down. And with that, we are so sure about the, the, the this uh, because when this this uh, let's say when this is too long, we can change this and at the same time we can have to deal with maybe move the eyes, separate them or put them uh, together a little bit more, move them close one each other. That's uh, all the possible mistakes. And when that happened to me, I remember once I was just dealing with that. It was a nightmare. It was just moving the nose up, moving the nose, the mouth, separate the eyes, put the eyes back together, close, separating. It was just like that, like an hour, just moving here, moving there. And I'm trying to avoid that to prevent that just by keeping the measurements these measurements as close as, as possible to the model but eventually that's happening and that's okay I mean it's not like oh my god I mean that's terrible we learn from from that okay and what I have learned is that is just to keep the measurements so close at the beginning that's why I keep saying about this triangle here because I keep this okay and this uh, when I have a problem that would be maybe just moving the mouth up or down Now another thing that I'm thinking right now, I should go this to this dark. Mm.
has kind of a something here. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna just try to copy this. Nikki, uh, you were in Florence. Wow, that's amazing. A little bit tried to pickpocket. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Mervat. It's a problem with the nose. Mm. Mm -hmm. It could be the nostrils, or maybe the shadow here. I think that the shadow is more kind of pointy to the left, or the nostril is darker and bigger. The graphite is just to make soft everything. Yeah. But don't tell people that you're using graphite, you say charcoal and people say, oh my god, this is so soft. How do you do it? That's a secret. And what happened this kind of uh, filling up, uh, let's say it's some little dots here, like light dots because of the paper, because of the tooth of the paper. And at the same time, kind of blend. This is two two B, uh, zero point five millimeters. This one cost me one dollar. I mean, we don't need like a. Uh, what this important is uh, just the lead to be. That's it. Now I do this at the end because uh, that's going to be difficult to put charcoal on top of this again.
I'm not gonna use my uh, fingers. I used to do this first, or I pick up some pastel for any any part of the drawing, and then I I, I blend. Okay, I think that's okay. Now this is center on the, on the on the screen. Okay. What is? I think that's it. Yeah. I'm gonna make some retouches maybe in a couple of days. But like I said, I mean this this part when we end uh, the drawing is just going over little saddled values mostly I mean unless we see like a, a, a terrible mistake that we need to fix I'm gonna use a mirror I don't use a mirror I mean like a physical mirror a set mirror because I take a, a I take a photo or capture the screen I capture the screen and I put uh, in Photoshop the drawing and the photo next to that and then flip both of them and reverse the image and I compare it. That's the best way always to see mistakes. Okay, and to see values, what I do is I darken. I darken the the whole, uh, uh, both the the drawing and what's happening is okay. This thing is moving, I think. I darken both the drawing and the picture. And that would be like a squinting my eyes. Okay, I gotta go to buy groceries. I think I'll be back to go to my painting channel and paint. I think I'm gonna paint again. Uh, this guy I don't remember, Davis from Corn. But not the, another photo. Yeah, because my daughter she didn't like that <laughs> the painting. She was oh my god you make him older. That's it. I'm gonna make more details here, but you know that I'm gonna finish up this in my time and I'm going to post the image to my Instagram account.
Can this okay? Hmm? That's it for today with this drawing. See you tomorrow. Or oh, tomorrow Saturday. Ah, uh, let's see what what we do tomorrow. I don't know. Since I think for you it's okay. I mean, at least I have a couple of opinions from Monique and Mary. It's okay for you Monday to do the class. I think we're gonna keep just Monday. Okay, sorry, Sunday. We're gonna keep Sunday for the uh, for the class. Yes. I thought, I, I, I was thinking, somebody tell me that no, no, that, no that's going to be busy Sunday, that mean make it tomorrow. But no, I think I have an idea, a better, a better idea. Okay. Let me step back. I'm going to finish the hair. And what is the hair? No more shadows, no more lights. What is, what is? Mm. I think that's it. There's more details to the hairs. Yeah, just that to the hair maybe more contrast with the background maybe close this more light here could help Okay, see you, bye, take care. Oh, but uh, we have Memorial Day coming up. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Memorial Day, I think that's really important, yes? I mean, all holidays are important always, yes. Mother Day, Memorial Day. We see, okay? We see if we change maybe uh, one class from Sunday to Saturday. Yeah. Is the hair a little too full on the left side? Oh, yes! <laughs> oh, wow, it's a lot! I didn't notice. I have to finish just here. That means here and here. Wow. Okay, thank you, Monique. I didn't realize about this. I'm pretty sure if I make this grow, I'm pretty sure I, I, I make I made the same here. Because you know when we start making something grow, we think 
we're making everything symmetrical and we go all around and maybe pretty sure I make the same all around the head I'm going to soften this okay thank you Mervat thank you take care see you tomorrow see I mean my this drawing channel see you on Monday yeah I don't think I'm gonna draw or maybe if I draw I'm gonna draw really late really late tomorrow sa Saturday uh, and Sunday if I not can if I cannot sleep I'm gonna draw <laughs> bye take care